Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you're all well. I know I haven't been on for a couple of days. One day I normally have off and the other day um, was an extra <laughs> when Neil came home. Um, yeah, I, I felt like I'd come down with a bit of a bug and uh, yeah, just really tired. Um, not too bad today, I think I've just got a touch of cold but I think um, yeah, I think it was just tiredness and, you know, hospital visiting, all that. So I'm OK. I'm back. <laughs> um, and I want to get this finished because it should have been finished today. So this is the Vintage Pink Botanical. Shabby. Shabby Pink Botanical um, journal that I'm making with the kit from Nanine at Collage Type. Um, you will find a link to Nanine in my description and then you'll find um, everything of Nanine's you want from there. So Etsy, where it, all her lovely kits are, and her YouTube channel and other places to contact her. OK, so um, I've been working on it a little bit, not an awful lot. Um, but I've got a few things ready so I can finish it today because, um, yeah, we've got other things started that need finishing as well. So if you haven't seen it up till now, you have to pop back and, and have a look. Um, I don't spend half the video going through, you know, things that I've already done. So um, I think most of you who are watching today will probably have seen the beginning of it. So while you've been gone, I just popped the word inspire in there. Um, it's loose, so it will come out and you can put whatever you want in it. I just like quite liked the black um, this time. I put a faux brass key and some proper vintage um, pearl beads on the bottom and I've left them nice and long as you can see so that should you want it on your shelf but you still want them on they will hang over the top um, which is probably where I would have them uh, if I was working in them and what have you you know at the top rather than the bottom so yeah I've left them nice and long so you can shorten them you can move them up top you can do whatever you want with them they are simply tied on I um, don't think I've done anything in the journal. Pretty sure I haven't done anything in the journal since I left you. Um, but I've got a few of the bits and pieces uh, ready to go in it that's left. We're nearly done. We're just embellishing and adding the last few pockets. So um, if you remember, I wanted these printed smaller. Have I got any smaller ones left yet? Yeah. So I did. I did a couple of sheets, um, printing them half size. But that meant <laughs> that was also on the sheet was these little... Um, can you see them? these little pockets and they came out really tiny so what I've done I've actually glued them onto the back of a piece of card and um, that graphic 45 card and made um, you know that that whole thing is a pocket that card doesn't come out and then it's just left a little so you know they're pockets that you could use as tags and put in pockets or you could stick them down um, you know just handy but I just thought rather than leave them tiny and floating around like that and I've just filled them with that's a folded over ticket just bits of paper um, that was left over one of the tickets from the kit so there's two two like that and two like that so there's two sets I guess <coughs> and then I'll put a, f um, a flip on the back of this I want because I couldn't decide if you remember which side I wanted to see and I thought it would be nice to have a bit of um, journal space as well. So I put a big one on it. So it's like hidden journaling spot, but it'll be hinged, hinged as well. And then I just put that one inside it, which was that lovely die cut from, from Violet. We made together on, we embellished together. And these are things that I've got ready and are just waiting to go. So um, there was two tags left from the kit. So I wanted to make pockets for those. And um, yeah, I spotted these in my little stash, which are glassine bags from Nanine, uh, no, uh, Tanya at Tatty Treasure. And she has them in her shop. And again, her link's down in my description. And I think they're lovely because they just show through the beautiful picture. So I, I was thinking about something like this. Just a little word on the bottom of them. Um, I have got some fussy cut uh, die cut flowers because I've got my die cut machine out I've been having a little play with it that could go up the side but I don't know if that might just be enough on there so I thought that one in there this one in here it'd be nice to get them in the in the um, journal because they are quite nice and, and light and then we've got this Jardin word which I thought and that this was um, I've obviously torn this off and inked it for something because it was there 
there and ready so yeah perhaps somehow like that these two pieces on here we'll glue those on together then we've got um if you remember i made a belly band and it's in i made another one to show you how to do it so i've just trimmed it down and i've just grabbed some pieces um out of the the papers that were left to put on it so we'll do that and um, it can be a, a tag it can be a bookmark you might put a tassel on it actually make it a bookmark or it could be another belly band but i don't think i want another one in the in the book and then i covered this if you remember because we um we were looking for tags for certain places now i can't remember where i wanted this for um but i just pulled a couple of bits out to put on it and uh, yeah we'll have a look when we're going to the journal this is the end of the envelope that I, I cut off um which is this i think is this the envelope yeah oh, i'll have a look in a minute i can't remember i think it might be in the middle of the book i can't remember anyway it's the end of a <laughs> avocado dyed envelope and i thought it might make a nice side tuck initially i thought cut it in half and make some little pockets but yeah i think that'll make a nice side tuck so again just a strip of of the paper that's left i just tore it down with a tear ruler i'm just going to um round it and stick it on there and then that'll be a nice side tuck i don't know where these things are going <laughs> but we'll try and get them all in now this is a different color envelope this isn't the avocado one so if you remember i'm just going to tuck that in um, and leave it as a loose loose bit but i thought i might put one of these tags that we made down as a tuck and put something in it and then just a little one of the little green labels on the front this was just a piece of that was it Kaiser Craft? I think I can't remember the card that was left from you know making the book and a piece of paper that was left. So I thought I'd just stick them together or you know back that onto there. And again, I've got a tag that matches here. And if you remember, this was cut off um, from the cover, I think. Yes, it was. And another piece of that Kaiser Craft card, which I think that will back onto to make another tag. So we're using stuff up as we go along. So let's go to the top of the pile, shall we, and do these first. Um, and a couple more words. No, nope. I see you. There we go. And so we'll get all this little pile made up, and then we'll pop it in, and then we should, I think, be done. Um, let me get my glue. It's still a runner. So Neil is still home. He is in bed. He's sleeping a lot, and. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it's the tablets now because, yeah, he was tired when he came home, but he's had two. This is the third day home, isn't it? Well, the third. I mean, it was it was tea time when he came home, but yeah. So, but he's had a lot of sleep is what I'm saying. So, um, and he's still sleeping. So I'm thinking it's more the illness he's, he's sleeping through rather than all the medication. Rather than... Uh, tiredness I mean, he was tired when he came home because he didn't sleep very well in the hospital oh i've got my pink i'll put a piece of a bit of warm lipstick around the edge of this do we think embrace the pink yeah so yeah we didn't we've had a day where neither of us uh, went out got fresh air we stayed in all day yesterday so I think I might, when he's got up and, and round, encourage him to, you know, we'll go out for just half an hour somewhere. Um, not walking in the car, because I think walking would be would be too much. And uh, like I said, once he's properly better, I want, uh, I want him to teach me to drive this new this new car, <laughs> because it's like I say, it's automatic, and I've never driven automatic. And um, yeah, it was kind of sat there on the drive while it was pulling. People were driving me around, and I could have, if I could drive the car, I could have driven myself. And I know a lot of you out there will be thinking, if it's if you can drive a gear stick, <laughs> you can definitely drive an automatic car. But it's packed in quite tight <laughs> um, in the driveway for a start. He backs it in and um i've done that i wouldn't have been able to i know i wouldn't have been able to back it in and it's right tight against our double gates so if i'd have gone the wrong way uh, 
had a you know had a had a crash, and I haven't driven for. Gosh, I hadn't driven a year when I got rid of my car, and I've had rid of my car over a year now. So it's been a couple of years since I've I've driven. So you've got to get your confidence back in the traffic. Um. So yeah, not today, but soon. I'm going to go on some quiet roads like you do when you're learning to drive and you know, get used to the car and spatial awareness, all that kind of thing, and then get used to being in traffic and then I won't be stuck again. Yeah, I like those. I don't think they need anything else because they're so beautiful with that, that going through. Okay, so next. This. Is that off there? No, that's off that bit. I'm just putting this little... I wasn't doing anything other than putting a strip of paper on this. I'm, I'm not even sure if it's going in this book yet. So we can always put a label or a number or a word on it if we put it in. And if not, if it goes into stash, then it can still be used, you know, still further embellished to go with whatever it's going in. So it's a another lovely sunny day. I, I vaguely remember saying that last time I was sat here filming. So we're we're practically at the middle of October now. And uh, oh, I'll put that a bit low down. Never mind. I can put something at the top when I embellish, can't I? It's lovely on that. I quite like seeing that little bit of um, avocado dyed actually. Yeah. So I might do a tiny divot in it when it's dry, but I'm going to let it dry. Um, what was I talking about? The, the weather. Yeah, beautiful for the time of year. And uh, like I say, it doesn't feel cold, but I've not been out. <laughs> I wasn't out yesterday and haven't been out yet today. It's only morning at the moment. It's heading towards late morning, but we're still only morning. And uh, yeah, I'm pleased it's not cold yet. I uh, are. Um, prices are heating not heating well it is heating but what does it call it our gas and electricity fuel that's it our fuel prices went up quite high on the 1st of october in the uk and uh yeah so it's nice not to have to have heating on all day long yet we will when we need it but i thought neil might be cold coming in from hospital because it's quite warm in hospital but it's not been i mean we've had it on on a night but and again, that's a very simple piece, but nice. Next, oh good, I wanted to go through them quickly. Yeah, so I was thinking about that on there, this on the back for writing on, just in case we use it as a tag. And then that in the middle. We're very strippy this morning. Um, where's my care ruler? I've had it out, so. Ew, well, there it is. Here it is. Um, and then we need to decide, well we don't need to decide, we'll decide last minute, but we need to work out if we're still going to Blackpool. We're hoping to. Kind of depends on Neil's energy levels I guess. It's quite a quite a long drive. He, uh, he wouldn't be comfortable with me driving on the, the really busy motorways all that way when I haven't driven for so long. Even when I was driving all the time, I used to drive all over the place for work. He, um, I never drove when he, <laughs> when he, we were together going anywhere. I mean, for a start, we used to have our own cars, so we always went in his. But um, yeah, he's very masculine, manly. <laughs> I'll leave the other words to you. To say in your head about uh, yeah being the driver and it would be you know I have driven him when I've had to I certainly drove him about when he was having his cancer treatment which was a blessing but um, when he was well enough he would bite his nails down to the <laughs> to his elbows he was a very nervous passenger which I've turned into, so I can understand that. Now I thought about putting some lace behind that and decided not to because I've not made it really a lacy journal. It's pretty and it's pink, but it's not lacy. Yep, so this is just an, an end cut from the page. So 
I know it doesn't give a lot of journaling space um, but it's enough and it's using up the scraps and it's using up this because I don't want to waste I'm going to go with this pink again I don't want to waste a tiny bit of it so that piece I've just cut off the bottom will be going on a cluster or collage or something it is not going in the bin I have been trying to make myself put some tiny bits in the bin and have done but I do have to say they were tiny <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting there moving moving things on clearing up so I need to get back um, to finish that uh, scrappy journal that we started to make that I named the controversial journal need to finish that off next and then another fall journal and I also have a design team project for uh, Fiona Lavender Blue Art for October to do so yeah still quite a few things to go out there so that'd be nice with a word I don't know if I've got anything word wise in here no well I mean I've got a draw full but I don't want to stop and, and mess I've just seen this I put all these on that one's quite nice isn't it so I've got lots of these strips that I've put the words on as well so I won't I um, don't know where that one's come from actually sit in there uh, yeah I won't do it now where's the ones I've done they're getting muddled up with the ones I haven't yet so we're nearly through it I think so they're all little quick jobs so that I can just well so I can get it finished but so I can chat to you as well that's quite a thick piece because it's on the craft card so Neil is on antibiotics for those of you that missed all that he's on very strong two doses actually at once antibiotics and he's on one of the ones that I'm allergic to so that's scary <laughs> not sure I don't take one by accident so yeah he was a bit of a, a conundrum to the doctors they all knew about what was up with him but they'd never seen it before so yeah trust Neil to be have something unusual but we're very grateful that it's not appendicitis and he had to go under the knife so you've got to be thankful for these small nurses right where do I want this do I want it I want that writing showing I think do I want it to touch all those pieces I think I do so it's just an extra interesting piece in going to be tucked in the journal this so it can be kept in and used for you know like file folder for storage or um, you can journal on the back you could put pictures on the back you know you can keep things in there drift around just the front edges of it and leave the back ones just give it a little bit of something fancy wise if you like let's have a look just changed the look of it didn't it completely and with the back ones square poking out what do we think because it's obviously two pieces put together you can see all the yeah I think I will I'll leave that back one square I don't know if to put a tab on it we'll see okay done another little job done we are doing well today this one's literally sticking this on here is it the right size it's not far off let's get a glue book going I had one earlier what have I done with it here it is so which one's the smallest the paper just oh, I've got my glue stick out here we go Yes, I'm looking forward to getting this this finished and uh, I will try and get it into Etsy later on today it won't be in as soon as you see this video but it might be in 
a couple of hours afterwards, hopefully. No, I filled it and uh, it just keeps selling out Etsy. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, I want it to. I'm putting things in because I want them to sell, but I keep thinking, all oh, right, at least there's a bit in there now if anyone goes in and looks. Strange person, Denise. It's lovely, absolutely lovely to move some bits on out of my crafting space. So thank you. For those of you that have bought out of my Etsy, much appreciated. I think that's going to need the guillotine. It's not very straight. And it, like I say, it is just a very quick tag, stash tag, using up bits and have them put them in the scrap box. So it might go in the journal, who knows. But it's now a useful base and the same with this one so I'll put it there with that Let's, I'm going to take a bit off this is a Henry Terry um, book page it's ever so slightly bigger than the oops sorry gosh ever so slightly bigger than hmm well spotted, Denise. And the spare piece of card it's going on. So let's try and yeah, put it on this side. I might use those, some of those tickets. Oh, it's well smaller now. There's a good piece of English for you. Well smaller. Sound like I'm down with the kids. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Oops. I'll put it in the middle and trim right round it, I think. Again, just a nice base for, um, you know, start of a tag. I'm a little bit sticky now. Okay, I'll just trim this down and then we'll get some of these pieces put in. Let's take it off here. Tiny bit more. That's it. Right, try not to whack the camera again. What are these? Uh, I'll get four tags out of there, cut out of there, tickets, I should say. Okay, so let's look at the journal. No pieces of paper. So we've got these two tags. I'll put those on one side. Let me put this in here. Otherwise, it won't work when I want it. Oops, come on. Um, and I've got these other small, very small, like library um, card tags. So I'll put those um, tags with those tags. Okay, this is just going to go sitting in at the end. So yeah, I might put some paper in it. I might put some, a tag in it. See what we've got left. So just put that to one side. Right, so these are all going in. We don't know about that. I'm going to put that with the tags again. I'm pretty sure we made that from somewhere. These two are both going in. I'd quite like this in. So let's see. We've got all these. Let's see what's going in where. Probably done that lipstick ink. Okay. I did just tie knots in the end of those um, strings to keep them together because they were going a bit wild. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll put a pocket on the front of that one. Oh, I've just remembered something else. There's cards in there and under my desk, as <laughs> if by magic, I have the two cards that were in there. Let me just make sure they fit. Sorry, all you can see is my arm. 
because they were a, a tight fit. Yep, they fit. So all I've done is printed one of the pages, the journal pages, 75% I think that was, size of the original. And um, yeah, it fit just as I wanted it to, you know, for two separate journaling cards um, for the front and back envelopes. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave them just that on the back, just the craft card on the back, because I don't want any more thickness. I'm going to round all of the corners. Oh. Uh, just makes them look nicer and they slot into the um, I've not long since done them as you can tell the curling up slot into the pockets easier if they're rounded at the bottom as well so Ooh. oh try putting it in the corner Denise before you cut it getting ahead of myself Yeah, so I had used up all the papers that I'd got out um, that I'd printed. So I, because I had to print something for these, you know, I chose what I put on them. If I'd have had a spare um, piece of paper already, you know, from the kit already to go, I wouldn't have done this. I'd have just put whatever paper that was on them. Yeah, so this can be journaling or it can be, you know, used for whatever the new owner chooses so i will put a tag i think on them a tab but i'm not going to do i've done this one now i'm not going to do any more than that i'm not going to um embellish them leave it you know for personal preference and i don't want to put anything too thick on for the pockets so of plain tabs look what I'm doing on there. That's it. Get rid of those bits. That way up and that way up. Let's see if I've got some. Now shall I go with pretty ones or shall I go with plain? Just have a look at a couple shall we? Nice pink one there. What's tickling me? Sorry, that was it was a microphone tickling me, so I may well have bashed it and made a horrible noise. Are they too big? I've got smaller ones. Do one and then I know what size I'm looking for and then still a big one and a small one and then I can decide what colour I want. Quite like this cream on the craft, craft card. Now the cream is it going to match the file folder as well isn't it? Yeah I think the cream one and I think a big one so did I have another big cream one? No. Yes. Lovely. And I think I'll go up round them in the the brown. Mine is um I was going to use a vintage photo but I just kept forgetting and uh, carried on with my normal which is walnut stain so it's kind of walnut stain even though it didn't start out being <laughs> this journal with a warm lipstick. Yeah, they can be embellished should the new owner want to as well, so yeah. Oops. <laughs> all over the place this morning. I know they do look like they're not straight, but they will be when they're dry. They will um, they'll also flatten out in these pockets, won't they? Because they're reasonably dry, but not, not entirely. Let me see right over there. 
I don't want to force it in while it's wet, that's it. Well, that's nice, that little tab showing there actually as well, isn't it? Over into the middle, yep. Super duper. Well, there's that gorgeous belly band. Missed it. It was there a second ago, wasn't it? Yeah, I like it. I am lo loving that book paper, book page paper with this pink kit. That's what I'm saying. I got a hole in that one. I did it to have. Okay. Yeah, so there's quite a lot of journaling in here. More than you realise actually, because I left quite a few pages for it as well. With quite a few journaling pages in the kit. Um, obviously we might embellish them with a, an odd little thing, but they're, they're beautifully embellished. I don't need it. goodness me I just wanted it hmm. oh it's that Denise putting it in wet and opening it out putting the force on it I was lucky I didn't rip that that's it in you go that's it lovely yeah nice I know they're quite bare in there but there's so much going on I think it's nice just to have a, a piece of you know something you can personalize on a piece for your eyes to rest should you not wish to <laughs> you know it now don't you I say it often enough Let's put this in and then we'll see I know it'll be off again in a moment but I definitely want these two glassine bags in here oh and I'd quite like that hinge piece in and I'm pretty sure this was for somewhere. It wasn't for there, was it? I might it might have been. Because that one's quite short, isn't it? Yeah, if I don't find anywhere else in the book where it's supposed to be, that's where it will end up. Yes, that's a lovely German page. This is just a beautiful kit page. So if I wanted to, I could have something on there. We'll see. Journaling. Journaling. Could journal on that as well. Oh, that hasn't got anything in it. We were going to make something for there, weren't we? Let's have a look what we've got. And you're going to be, well, you'll fit with a tag, but you're quite thin. Same with you, you're going to need a bit of a pull tab. Oh, look at that. ink it while I think about what I want on it. All of it Denise, don't do half a job. It's because I, I was heading off to look at stuff in my mind. You know, stuff from the kit on the table. That's still a little bit damp as well but um, let me just bring them in for you to have a look at. Well, these are some lovely bits from those little um, stationary mm. pads. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, little tear-off pads from Tanya. I've shown you them before that she sent me. So we could go no, no tickets, possibly. I quite like that ticket. I've got a little hexagon. No, it's a bit specimy with a ticket, isn't it? And it's got this beautiful writing on it, which is specimy. And I'm sure I had a little beige ticket here. Just wanted to try it. Oh, it's over here. I quite like the pink. It brings it in line with the. Yeah. So maybe if we do that and then just put, um, you know, something tab wise on it so I don't know if to use a bit of paper from the kit or a bit of fabric or an actual tab I've got 
this little piece of sari silk here. So I just put a hole in it and a now what have I got here? I've got these lovely hole reinforcers. They're not the right colour though, are they? Don't really want it pink, no. So I'll use a metal one. So I don't want it too far down, but when that spreads out it's grabbed on something. Where are the ordinary ones? Just bear with me a moment. Can I do that little bag of them that I have? No. Right. I've got another idea smallest piece I've got. Just put a little piece of this down like that. To take that bit off as well and rip it. It's also adding a little bit of the prettiness to the back as well as reinforcing. Oh, we've got no hole in it. <laughs> did I use the small hole? I think I probably did. We need a bigger one than that. Yeah, that's going to be pretty. Oh, itchy nose. I always have to think which way up this goes. Yeah, that's going to spread the bottom. Why is that right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Let's give it a little bit of something. Right, let's put this through it. I'm just, I'm just going to tie it in a knot. I think it has got a knot in it uh, there, which I'm going to leave. It's a little bit of interest. Yeah, that's all I want. Just something to pull it out with. Ooh might even stick out the top of the tiny bit. Yep, happy with that. Very happy with that. Okay. I'm going to leave that for whoever owns it to journal on. Oh, I just tucked that card up there without anything in it, didn't I? What did I do on that one? Have I got another piece of something? Joy. If I just cut it off there. I like using all the kit, <laughs> or nearly all of it. You know, in the in the one journal. Don't want any more storage. Yeah, just stick that in the middle, and it just just ties it in a bit more. And then I'll leave it in there. I think. I would think half the fun of, of buying a journal is moving things around as well, <laughs> where you want it. Yeah, that one can go in there. It was in there anyway, wasn't it? It's just so beautiful. I don't want to. I don't want to add anything more, but I do because I want this in somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to put the whole thing down. Oh, I 
else going to put a tag on tab or something I'll get it out while I can without ripping the what are you telling me you don't have to be putting your fingers into a galassine bag trying to grab stuff out because it will uh, it will rip it definitely needs something on the top did I ink it oh I'm loving this pink lipstick warm lipstick so maybe um do with some bits of lace just nothing too much just some little grabby bits so let's take the whole thing out Denise that's it oh gosh so I'm thinking just a piece of lace over like that nothing more nothing less Yep, simple but effective, shall we say. So grow grow and garden, or jardin, go together. I need to remember that when I... Uh, <clears throat> put it back in, because I'm, I'm going to leave it out <laughs> to dry properly. I don't want it sticking to the glassine bag with the fabric tack. Oh, I will be in trouble. Yeah, I'm going to leave quite a big tab, tab on it. So that it's easy to reach and you're not tempted to stick your finger in there. Yeah, there's plenty there. Um, I'll do the same to the other one then while that page is drying okay that's it oh where's the time gone we're nearly there nearly done it's been nice to come back and uh, share this with you again like i say i have been working on it a little bit myself didn't cut any off put that sideways denise but yeah it's always more fun sharing it with you. Oh, oh, it's not going in that one. As I say, I've got the same pattern there, but this isn't the one out of that pocket. Get my sticky, gluey fingers off it. Okay, you're dry. So I need to find that page. So it was around here, was it? Well, it was there, but I've already got something on there. So yeah, around here this way. Or this way. Got something there as well, so. Oh, must have more in the back than the front. What else have I got to put down this? I was thinking that might go nice on there. Got something on the back though and it hasn't got anything in it yet, so that's going to get heavy, isn't it? That one then. It's the same page that's on that. Uh, I don't know. No, in the, in the pocket, in the envelope. Yeah, I think we're full up. What's in there? Another one of those with nothing on it. Something on the back of that. Yes. Yes, Denise, I think we're full. If you want to leave some journal in. No, we're not full here. Yep, yeah, nothing on the back. No. Nope. Okay. Okay. 
going to put it well in on the page so that oops it's more protected when it's hanging it's not hanging on the edge of a page if you know what I mean yeah like that it's obviously something in there but it's better to pull it that way yeah so just this um better put the lid on that we're blobbing glassine bag then whoops we've got something on nearly every page now no <laughs> Oops. Yep, I think it needs to be on one of these two. Perhaps if it was in the middle rather than, yeah rather than on the edge that's yeah I prefer that it's just it wasn't quite right on the edge here because that's the page do you know what I mean it looked like the edge of the page and it was hanging off I don't think I'm going to be able to squeeze anything else in just a couple of tags oops good There we go. That was my elbow again crunching on the. Right, where was the other one? Let's put the tag in the other one. Yeah, it's rather. It's becoming quite full. Yeah, they don't really look anything without these in. That changes it up entirely. Yeah, pleased with that lace. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start at the back then and make sure we've got I've got a tag in there. I'm not going to put anything on there. I don't think I'm going to embellish these pages. They're just too beautiful. Does that want a title piece? Let's just give it that one. Don't laugh, but I think I'm going with less is more with this one. No, I know there's a lot in it, <laughs> but there's a lot more I could add, and I'm, I'm not. That one's a piece of paper in it now. I had some over here. Oh, that one going. No. Let's just put a bit of colour on the back. Should somebody want to use it for journaling rather than take it out and use it in the page? And I did print, when I printed the other page off, I printed one more page that could be used. That would be nice in there. Yep, yeah, I think so. I'll just fold it in half. Like that. Yep. Yeah, um, yeah cos I thought there was paper that needed to go somewhere else. Right, this wanted something on it, didn't it? What have we got? Yep, that. Oops. So this is that piece from Tanya from either Stationery Pal or sta Tapeology or one of those stationery places that she promotes and has money off vouchers for if you visit. Um, using her codes which I believe are in a um, a link tree oh, oh, stop doing that let's go with pink see I've opened the pink now and I'm pinking everything <laughs> it's just a little bit extra this one wasn't it put in the tuck 
yeah because it's it has got something in it there which i could put lace on but i'm not going to does this need anything is this the one got a little butterfly no um got some little bits of the paper here that's a nice little piece a little off cut is all it is yeah i said i wasn't going to didn't i yeah that's the right way but i am just that little bit it's just a big plain page isn't it maybe i should go in the middle yeah let's go in the middle for a change a bit of a oh <laughs> lovely that's definitely not where i wanted it gosh where's my cloth denise would you a bit want fabric tack okay right i better put a bit of something in there just in case yeah just beautiful aren't they i showed you that close-up of that chandelier in the last um video i'm gonna do the same again just a little little piece there i've just cut off something yeah i am a bit of something and nothing right don't drop it this time on the book that's it oh gosh look at the time looks like a little sticker oh that into the page a little bit hmm. that's yeah I've got a card in it and these two pieces yeah which I think I'll leave in I was just <laughs> couldn't decide whether to ink it or not then it's like a like a fiddler's elbow in and out with it wasn't I so it, they are just pieces um, from the kit not they're only 120 gsm but they can be taken out and used or they can be hidden german spaces oh that's very lipsticky smudged mm, i like it and yeah i will just leave them in there because they're nice and light it's got this in here which is just a piece of craft card music um what's the word i'm looking for scrapbooking paper so it's just a, a journal i think that needs something up there fill that void and there's this was just sitting here it wanted to be on these little pockets on here and they're the similar to the oh they're identical to the ones inside aren't they they are so no is there anything else that could go on there not really just put a couple of these on um let's have her on there yeah she's beautiful glue on myself again lovely I want anything 
anything on that because I want to tab. Um, would that be nice with some more lace on it, do we think? Because it's greenish, isn't it? I've got a little piece just sitting here waiting to be used, look. bit of it on just to give it a bit of something but nothing too much which means it can't go in now till it's dry yeah I could cut the corners like a tag but I'm just not feeling that with this piece so I won't yeah I'll leave it out to dry but yeah that'll look Yeah, it might end up with a pink stamp on it as well, but we'll see. Um, oops. Oh yeah, I was going to put some pieces in here that were left over, wasn't I? I'll do it now because I'll forget. And there are quite a few pieces. Now, it's a lot in there, good to further embellish. Moving that one in there, that's quite a heavy piece now. That one, do you want something up here? What have we got? I've got another one of those, let's just go with another one. So I've got a smaller one there, but it's attached to something. <laughs> I haven't. A bit gung ho with the glue in today. Lovely. I think we're there. Got one of those in there. Yep. Okay, so I've got a few bits left over. Okay. So next time you see this. It'll be a quick flip through. Yeah, you'll know it's on Etsy when the flip through goes up. That's when it will go on Etsy. So give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed seeing it. Uh, yeah, chat to me with anything that's been happening and I've missed. Seeing as I haven't been here for two days, I will be back uh, tomorrow again with the, I think with the junk journal project, but it, you know, with something anyway. What we've got left over is quite a few bits that I've made here left over. Hmm. Might put them into a bundle in Etsy. I'll see when I put this in a separate separate bundle. And then if you're doing a pink. Yeah, maybe. Okay, thank you so much. Have a lovely, lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.